Good morning, St. Pius. Please stand and join us in prayer and pledge. You may have noticed the new prayers we've been saying. They are for the month of October, which is Respect Life Month. Today we continue with these prayers from the campus ministry team. We pray that our society may realize the generational impact of abortion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh God, you formed us in our mother's womb and planned a unique and special life and purpose for each of us, and we do thank you. Grant that we may pray and work for an end to abortion, especially this month, so that no unborn baby you have made may fail to achieve your divine intention for him or her because of abortion. We pray for this in the same of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to Tanner Birch, Josie Hertig, and Avery Smith. Sports, uh, boys soccer, JV, and varsity at Summit Christian Academy. <laughs> at 6, and softball at home versus Summit Christian Academy at 5.30. The saint of the day is St. John Leonardi, and he's the patron saint of pharmacists. <laughs> Announcements. Announcements. They were in a mass schedule. Benedictine will be here during lunch today, and tomorrow from 7.30 to 8.30, there will be picture retakes. Thursday, October 10th, daily mass at 7.45 a.m. in the SPX Chapel. Creative Writing Contest. Love creative writing? Love scary stories? Put those together and enter the Fright Club Creative Writing Contest. A 100-word story filled with tension, suspense, and a bit of spookiness. And your story could be published. See Miss Barta if you're interested. There will be a boys basketball player and manager meeting this Wednesday morning, October 10th at 8.20 a.m. in the gym. If you're interested or plan on playing basketball or want to be a manager, you need to be at this meeting. Contact Coach Phelps for questions. Now we'll turn it over to Father Mark for Father Mark's Minute. Hello St. Pius, this is Father Mark again. Last episode I told you I was going to nerd out on two different words, respect and responsibility. Last time I talked about what respect literally means is to view something again or to view someone in a more positive light to give them an, another chance to respect them. Well, now I want to talk about the word responsibility. And I know this might seem basic, but sometimes if we break these words down, it gives us a new way, a fresh perspective, perspective on how to operate in life. So the next word I wanted to talk to you about is responsibility, which literally means what? You know what I'm going to say. It means the ability to respond. Note that there's a difference between responding to something and reacting to something. If someone insults you or offends you or does something that hurts you, how do you respond? What is your ability to respond to that person in maturity, love, kindness, forgiveness, and sometimes courage and with proper boundaries? A responsible person is someone who's developed a depth of maturity to where we have the ability to respond to adversity, to when we mess up, to when we are both injured by others or when we injure others. So may we pray today to be a people of responsibility, to have the ability to respond with love, with faith, and with kindness. just want to give a really quick thought on the fact that you are enough. I was talking to some people at the school, and they really seemed to resonate with the idea of, you know what, you're enough. Now, what does that mean, that you are enough? It means, number one, you don't have to earn God's love for you. You don't have to earn salvation. The Catholic Church has never taught that you earn salvation, that you are enough. And what does that mean? It means you don't have to try to get your value from the five people you hang around with the most. You don't have to try to perform for your parents to earn their approval. Rather, how about you know you're enough so that you just have a, a heart towards your family to love them? Instead of trying to say, I'm only as good as my last game, or I'm only as good as my last exam, or I'm only as good as what the five people around me or what my home life says, you're beyond all of that. You are enough. And what does that mean? It means that in the eyes of God, you're a 10 out of 10. You already are. You're a 10 out of 10 as a human being. Now, the difference is, that's our identity. 
There's identity and role. That's something to think about. You have an identity and you have a role, which is the way you live out that identity. In God's eyes, your identity is always a 10 out of 10. But then our responsibility is the effort we put in in that role. So, for example, I know I'm a 10 out of 10 in God's eyes, a beloved son of God. But then how I actually live that out in my role as a priest, in my role as a chaplain, in my role as a, as a brother, as a son, that might change. So for you, you're a 10 out of 10 in God's eyes. The real challenge for us is to live in that and then to let that R, that, that role, stem from our identity. So you're enough to trust in that, to live out of that, and to know the only person you need to live for and perform for is actually delighting in the gaze of your Heavenly Father. The same Father that said to Jesus and to you and me, you are my beloved son and daughter in whom I'm well pleased. Thank you. Lunch today, cheeseburger, spicy fries, grapes, and a cookie. <laughs> That's all we have for you today. Have a great day, St. Pius.